Award season is long and tiring, and I'm just talking about my experience covering it. It's even worse for celebrities because all those dress fittings, all the red carpets, all the celebrating, it's exhausting. And this is only the very beginning. What's up, y'all? It's Emil Ennis Jr. here with Clever News, and the People's Choice Awards and the Country Music Awards kicked off award season this year, and it's already got the best of some of our faves. Like Casey Musgraves, for example, who celebrated last night at the Country Music Awards in Nashville, Tennessee. Her night started off good enough, you know, enjoying a charcuterie board that she shared on her Instagram story. And once she arrived at the CMAs, it only got better. She knew it was going to be special, she said. She got to hang out with Gigi Hadid, Reese Witherspoon, and Nicole Kidman, which seems pretty freaky special to me and she ended up winning two major awards last night one of them occurred before the show even started when she won music video of the year for the rainbow music video and that is a huge moment in country music because Casey has said in the past that rainbow was dedicated to her LGBT fan base who is often ostracized in country music in the past she spoke about the song and said rainbow is something that I can dedicate to that community but also to anyone who has any kind of a weight on their shoulders it was written as a message to my own self but anyone who is feeling like they need that is welcome to run with it the music video features a same-sex couple as well as an individual who is struggling with their gender identity and this isn't the first time that Casey has made LGBT history at the Country Music Awards in 2014 her song follow your arrow won the award for song of the year that song also briefly touches on same-sex relationships with the line kiss lots of boys or kiss lots of girls if that's what you're into. Casey also won Album of the Year at the 2018 CMA for her album Golden Hour. She also won the Grammy for Album of the Year for Golden Hour just a few months after that. But this year seemed particularly special. After her first win, she took the stage to perform Rainbow Connection with one of her idols, Willie Nelson. And this was one of the first songs that Casey ever performed live when she was just nine years old. Last night, Casey also won the award for Female Vocalist of the Year, which she won for the first time at the CMAs. She beat out Carrie Underwood, Marin Morris, Marin Miranda Lambert and Kelsey Ballerini for this one award. And this award was extra special this year since the theme of this year's Country Music Awards was honoring country's women. After winning Female Vocalist of the Year, Casey went backstage to talk to the press about her win and this year's theme. She said, I think every year in country music, females should be equally celebrated because I think the female narrative is really important and it's been the backbone of country music since the beginning. At the end, she also said, and Willie's bus is waiting on me, so I gotta go. Which might be the reason why she's suffering today because Casey's got a case of the hang Overs. Early this morning, she went on Twitter to ask a very serious question. She said, can you die from a hangover? Asking for a friend who is actually me. And admittedly, she didn't get the best advice from her followers. One person said, drink through it. Someone else said, a hangover is an illusion. Just dust it off and eat a burger. Something tells me that person is definitely not over the age of 26. But this post CMA hangover is probably nothing compared to the hangovers that Casey has coming up in her future. Grammys happen next year and the nominations come out next week. And in the meantime, she also has her Christmas special, the Casey Musgraves Christmas Show, premiering on Amazon Prime on November 29th. That show features big stars like Lana Del Rey, Troy Sivan, Camila Cabello, Kendall Jenner, Dan Levy, Zoe Deschanel, and Casey. Casey's grandma. So you know the alcohol will be flowing through the night there too, but talking about her special, Casey said, I can say without a doubt that this project is unlike anything I've ever done before. What started as a small seed of an idea one night over a year ago has turned into something I'm so proud of. Some truly brilliant comedic and musical guests are featured in the show, as well as my own grandma. My vision was to bring my old Christmas album to life visually and create a modern and fashionable fresh take on a classic format. And what's a modern and fresh take on Christmas without a little spiked eggnog, you know? So let's hear what you guys think. Did you see Casey at the CMAs or watch her performance? And are you excited for a Christmas special? I love Christmas, so I am. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And then make sure you subscribe to Clever News and we'll keep letting you know all that you need to know from this year's award season. Like I said, this is only the beginning, so stay tuned and click right over here for another brand new video. I'm Emil Ennis Jr. Thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me here on Clever News and I'll see you soon.